Welcome to my channel. This is Spacey Tracy Nails. I'm going to be doing an ombre with Sinful Colors. Matte Velvet um, is one of the collections that they have from Target now. Uh, it's like a spring winter collection. There's like 12 of them, uh, but there's different finishes. So uh, that's what these are. I am also have these items that I uh, paint my nails with. You can put your fingers on here and it's easier to paint and uh, you have these brush things that you can put your brushes on as well. They're from the 3D printer. Um, the Band E Craft Shop um, from Etsy is where I got mine. You can order them in the colors that you would like or you can do these ones that are defective and get them for really cheap but I don't see the defection on it but anyway. Um, Rosewater Delight uh, is the the base color on my nails and then um, it's a matte uh, velvet finish, but that's not going to quite matter because I'm going to be putting a top coat on it. Um, raspberry and cream is one of the colors I'm going to be using, and pistachio parlum is the other color. It's like a mint green. Um, and then latex queen uh, I got from Walmart. Really cheap to get it from there, but I've never used it, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience. Um, it's so thin, I, I really was thinking that um, it was going to be thicker. I've seen stuff on everybody else's YouTube channels, and it just, everybody seemed thicker. But So I might have been better if I would have put a thinner coat around it. Um, cause the thicker, it took a lot longer for it to dry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing that exactly correctly, but oh, I'll get better at it as I use them. But I was going to be doing an ombre and it was going to be messy and I've done them without anything around my nails and oh my God, it took forever to clean. So I really wanted to start using latex, um, around my nails and help my nails especially around because they get so dry i want them to not have to use all that acetone so let them dry uh it took a little bit came back glued my hands together which didn't oh, this happened a few times i'm talking like multiple times i got really frustrated uh, okay so here we go we're gonna put the uh, raz uh, rose water delight on the top and the pistachio parlin in the middle. Uh, make sure you overlap them on this uh, makeup wedge thing that I got from the dollar store. And then the raspberry and cream on the bottom. And so that when I go to put them on my nails, I dab a little bit. Um, and I made sure that I didn't just dab, 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 because that made it more cakey last time that I did it. And that didn't turn out very well either. Um, so I'm just dabbing a, a little bit, like a couple times, and kind of go up and down, trying to make it so that it is more smoother, or, you know, like, looks better when I put the top coat on, and like it blends better. Um, the one thing that I noticed is that this really did, you know, do the polishes really well with these, because they weren't, like, them great ones that you can get from Fred Meyers. These are, they're, they're cheaper. And you could tell, you could tell they're cheaper, but hey, uh, you know, that, that they work, they work really well. Um, so I didn't have to wet them or anything like that. The polish is definitely going on there really well. Um, and going on to my nails really well as well. Uh, putting this wonderful pistachio parlum again. And then I'm gonna put some of that uh, raspberry cream on the top. Uh, I had a th I had this idea of how this was going to look, but it didn't turn out exactly the way I planned. Now on my pinky, I put it on my uh, ring finger. Uh, I just dab it a couple times um, to try to, it doesn't have to be like, you know, bright, bright. I wasn't trying to go with that. I was kind of trying to do more of a wintry scene, but, or wintry Manny, but kind of turned out more like a spring Manny, actually. So, um but eventually I go ahead and glue my hands again together so I have to go and put some more of the uh, latex on again and because I wasn't done I need to put a little bit more on there I wanted it to be a little bit brighter or a little bit darker so that you could see it well but it might have worked out better actually because I have some problems with the stamping polish which you'll see in as we get in further into this so here I go keep 
putting that on there and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I fast forward this because I have a problem um, I didn't want you guys to want to see all that but I was asking to ask you guys if you would please like subscribe comment share my videos I've had some health conditions so I plan on getting a lot better at doing all of this and uh, I do want to grow my channel so I use out the door um, top coat um, on all of my nails but I'm just gonna show it on my thumb for right now I didn't want to do another fast forward thing and take forever to go through um, but I it I've already capped um, the tips also I kind of do them first I, I'm not sure if that's a great idea but I'm it's been working for me uh, so I'm gonna be using um, major digit 55 stamping plate got it from Amazon and um, I got like 10 of them for like a dollar or something but I had to wait like two months uh, and uh, but I really like them I think you can get them from like AliExpress I'm gonna take off this blue film um, with uh, my tweezers that I have here with these little pencil things and plus I have the alley mat that I put underneath it so that um, I don't make a mess on my <laughs> my silicone mats that are supposed to make a mess I don't want to make a mess on them wouldn't want to do that but you know hey um, okay so then I um, gonna take some hundred percent acetone and my red claw that I got from Leonard and Wren uh, when I first started trying to do all this but uh, didn't get very serious about it but I am now so um, I clean off the um, and then this is my other claw that I got when I just got some stamping plates from a D stash. I take a paper towel. Um, and this is only when I first start to, you know, use the plate for the very first time, trying to make sure I get all that any residue, glue, whatever could be there from the the uh, you know cover on it, the blue film. All right, so I'm using Manny Elegies. Um, it's Kylie, Kylie, I think B three nine three. That's the Anomani Allergy Monocle Stamper. Also, I have a code for them. It's Purple TDO10. I am using this little, um, it's like a lint roller thing, but it's in a case. It has a black uh, cover. It doesn't get messy. It's kind of cool. I like it. But got that from AliExpress. Later, waited a long time for that, too. But I clean off my Monica Stamper, so I make sure I don't have anything on there. And there you can see my face. But here's the designs. There's three designs I'm going to use, and I'm going to use them on all of my nails. I decided that I wanted to have it on all the nails. So I put this on um, the Kaylee. I put the stamping polish on and uh, rolled my stamper, and it looked like it was working really well. I mean, it picked it up well. I used my uh, Uber Chick uh, scraping card to clean off the sides so that there's no stragglers, but my nails are short right now, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then I rolled a monocle stamper over my finger and it didn't work. It is not there. I don't see it. Um, and uh, I don't know what's going on. But So then I used Dear Violet. Uh, it's B235. I was really looking for a purple. I wanted a purple really bad. That's what this is. My, my, my vision was the purple. Pinks and green and purple. Um, even though I was trying to do it wintery looking, it looks more like a spring. But um, so I, I'm going to try it again, and it doesn't work either. I mean, like the dear violet didn't even go on there at all. But I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to clean my plate one more time, and that had to be my air. And I'm going to try it one more time, and I'm going to roll it, and not at all. It's not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have no idea. Um, kind of getting a little frustrated. Clean off my plate. 100% acetone. I'm going to go get my clear jelly ones that I got when I very first started wanting to do this, but wasn't getting into it as well as I should have. But So now my clear jelly stamping polish is 106. It's a purple. Again, it's a metallic -y purple. I'm scraping um, very gently, roll my monocle stamper, and cleaning the sides. It worked. That It's on the stamper at least, so we have to see if it's going to be on my nails. Um, and please disregard my voice here. I'm not sick. Um, it's just a health issue I'm going through right now. So I uh, put it on my finger, roll it over, um, and when you can see it, 
it's um, it's not really bright like I wanted it to be. Like I thought it was going to be like really bright, but it didn't. So I decided, okay, I want this Manny to be a little bit more, uh, have some kind of umph to it. So I decided to do Curious Matter. And it's a shimmery iridescent. Um, it's actually stamping polish, but boy, is it thin, really thin. I cover the whole thing with the whole design with that and scrape it and um, going to do the monocle stamper, roll it over, put it on my nail, and I was going to try to make it so that you can line it up, but I couldn't really see, so I figured that you're not going to be able to. You can't really notice. I mean, like, you're, there's no way that you're going to know that it's not. And um, it gave it a little bit of an ump. It gave it some kind of, like, a glow to it. Um, but it's definitely... This manicure didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I mean, it. This was a took some hours to do. So here I put uh, covering up the whole image with my stamping polish. Probably wasting a lot of stamping polish by doing that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on my ring um, finger. It's a little got a lot of little bunch of little squiggly lines. So I think it it's a little bit different. I wanted it to be a little bit different on my ring finger. Um, more of an accent kind of nail for that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on the uh, Curious Matter again. Um, and uh, it uh, scraped it a couple times. Probably scraped it too many times there. But rolled it and put that on there. And um, just to give it a little bit of a glow, I put it on uh, the ring finger and I really didn't line it up because I just figured that this would just give it some, you know, like just a little bit of a um, accent to it. Um, and then I go to the next one and this one I am going to put on my pinky and um, or I, I think I put it on my pinky. Um, but it's it's a little bit differently. Um, it's not the squiggly lines like the other one, so it's uh, it's got like a I don't know. It's they're all abstract um, designs. Every single one of them are abstract designs. So I put it on my middle finger, not my pinky, um, and then just roll it on there. And uh, I didn't put any uh, liquid latex around my nails because these are thin lines, and I figured that it won't make that much of a mess, and I'll be able to clean it up. So, and I'll show you that later what I clean it up with. I go ahead and I put some more of that uh, Curious Matter again. And uh, I'm going to put that on over the top as well. Um, and it turned out, you know, it, like I said, it, it just gave it a little bit more of just some kind of, um, just to accent the nail a little bit more than it just them colors. And because I was really thinking it was going to be darker and it didn't turn out darker. It was, they were just lighter than I thought. I don't know. Um, I guess I just need to maybe practice a little bit more before I do them on my nails. But this one's I didn't. I just did it. I just put them on there. I usually play with them with the regular um, fake nails and practice nails and then do it. So here's this one and then this one's going to be in my thumb, I believe. Um, but I'm still cleaning around the edges and um my nails are so short right now that probably doesn't matter but I figured it might make it so that I don't have to clean off as much now this one kind of got a little dried and I had to like push it down a little bit um, and rock it a little bit because um, I didn't have any sticky coat so it kind of dried I think I waited a little long for it to go on there and now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this one I put it kind of sideways uh, and scraped it, but I think I was supposed to scrape that sideways as well because I've been reading a lot about that and uh, the YouTube ladies and the, or people and uh, reading. I read blogs. I do all. I mean, I do a lot of research. I research everything on everything. Just so you know. Um, so there they are with my. Uh, I think I got them all nice and pretty, and and then I think I got to go one more time with the. Um, shimmery color that I'm which is stamping polish which is really really thin I'm not sure how the thin stamping polishes are supposed to work uh, I spoke with many elegy about that and I don't know they just said that the dual they're like dual chromes and 
Um, if I really want bright ones, I should do uh, metallic ones or something. So I'm not really sure. You guys tell me what you think. Um, what I could be doing wrong or am I supposed to put them on a different color? Maybe these colors were too light in the, in the set in that that they should have been darker and then put this on top of them. I don't know. But hey, I was it still turned out. I mean, these would be really cool for Easter. Our, our spring they right? um so anyway i wanted to show you guys how i um get a new little thing for the um with my little lint my lint roller thing here it's not a roller but lint um thing for my stamping um it's like pulling the corner of uh, a biscuits uh can if you've ever seen that so i make sure i clean the back and the, uh my plates and the top and i like them to look nice and like new before I put them away. So I use 100% um, acetone. I mean, uh, alcohol. I use alcohol. <laughs> um, I spray that on there and then I wipe them off. And as you can see, that looked really, really, really clean. Um, gives them that shiny look again. I'm using a Manny LAG's smudge free top coat. And then uh, to make sure that I don't mess up my nails. And then I'm using some masking tape. Uh, to go around and maybe clean up all the stuff around my nails that was from the stamping polishes so that I can not have to use any acetone around my nails because they're getting really, really dry. Also use this Naked Manicure from Zoe Satin Seal um, because I kind of wanted it to have that velvet look again uh, like the actual polish did, but um, it, it's... It did it a little bit. It didn't, I mean, it actually turned out pretty cool. They're not glossy, glossy. I will have some of the pictures um, at the end. So I will attach them as well. So I just want to say thank you for uh, watching me. I hope you come back. And um, this is Spacey Tracy signing off. Thanks. Bye.